Why are tires black? The hidden chemistry that keeps the world moving. Have you ever noticed something strange? No matter where you go in the world, every car, every bike, every truck has black tires. Not red, not blue, not white. Always black. But why? Let's rewind to the early days of cars. Back in the late 1800s, tires were made from pure rubber, straight from rubber trees. And guess what? They weren't black at all. They were white. Bright, creamy, natural rubber. But there was a problem. They didn't last. Those white tires wore out in just a few hundred miles. They melted in the heat and cracked in the cold. Drivers hated them. Then came the chemistry twist that changed the world. Carbon black. Around 1910, scientists discovered that adding fine black powder made from burning petroleum made rubber insanely stronger. Like ten times tougher. It stopped UV damage. It spread heat evenly. It made tires flexible, durable, and perfect for long drives. And just like that, the tire's color turned black forever. It wasn't a style choice. It was science. Those tiny black particles became the secret armor of modern transportation. They helped cars go faster, safer, and farther than ever before. Fun fact, the company that first produced carbon black four tires was Binion Smith. Yep, the same company that later made Crayola crayons. So, the people who made your childhood crayons also helped make your car's tires indestructible. In the 1950s, companies actually tried colorful tires. Red, green, even blue. They looked cool for a few weeks, but they faded fast and cracked easily. So the world went back to black. And that's why, even today, your tires aren't a fashion statement. They're a masterpiece of chemistry. Each one hides millions of microscopic particles working together to keep you safe on the road. So next time you see those shiny black tires spinning under your car, remember that color isn't just for looks. It's the reason your journey doesn't end with a flat tire.